In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace, mercy, and peace from our Heavenly Father and our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. I would like to start the service by giving thanks and praising the holy name of the Lord God Almighty, our Heavenly Father and our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, in the verse of Psalm 75. Glory to you, O Christ. Amen. We give thanks to you, O God, we give thanks, for your wondrous works declare that your name is near. When I choose the proper time, I will judge uprightly. The earth and all its inhabitants are dissolved. I set up its pillars firmly. I said to the boastful, do not deal boastfully. And to the wicked, do not lift up the horn. Do not lift up your horn on high. Do not speak with a stiff neck. For exaltation comes neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He puts down one and exalts another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red, is fully mixed, and he pours it out. Surely its dregs shall all the wicked of the earth drain and drink down. But I will declare forever, I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked I will also cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen to that. Our first hymn sung by my beautiful daughter Andrea is Hymn of Heaven. Amen. How I long to breathe the air of heaven. Pain is gone, and mercy fills the streets. To look upon the one who bled to save me and walk with him for all eternity. There will be a day when all will bow When death will be no more, when death will be an Raise a 
Persevi to so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, here on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, now and forever, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I am the bread of life. Anyone who comes to me shall not hunger. Anyone who believes in me shall never thirst. Alleluia. Lord, give us this bread always. The bread of God comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Alleluia. Lord, give us this bread always. Anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. Alleluia. Lord, give us this bread always. It is the spirit that gives life. The flesh is of no will. The words I speak, they are spirit and they are life. Alleluia. Lord, give us this bread always. Amen. You truly and earnestly repent of you, your sins, and are in love and chat with your neighbors, and intend to live a new life, following the commandments of God, and walking from henceforth in his holy ways. Draw near with faith, and take this holy sacrament to your comfort, and make your humble confession to Almighty God. Luck as the heart longs for flowing streams, so longs my soul for you, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O send out your light and your truth, that they may lead me. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. May we come to your altar, O God, the God of our salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Amen. In a moment of silence, confess your sins before our Heavenly Father and our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, in penitence and faith. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of His great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all them that with heartly repentance and true faith turn unto Him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has knit together thine elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of thy Son, Christ our Lord. Grant us grace so to follow thy blessed saints in all virtues and godly living, that we may come to those unspeakable joys which thou hast prepared for them that unfeignedly love thee. True Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our first reading is from Isaiah chapter 1 from verses 10 to 18. Glory to you, O Christ. Amen. Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Give ear to the law of our God, you people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices to me, says the Lord? I have had enough of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed cattle. I do not delight in the blood of bulls or of lambs or goats. When you come to appear before me, 
who has required this from your hand to trample my courts? Bring no more fetal sacrifices. Incense is an abomination to me. The new moons, the sabbaths, and the calling of assembles. I cannot end the iniquity and the sacred meeting. Your new moons and your appointed feasts, my soul hates. They are a trouble to me. I am weary of bearing them. When you spread out your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Even though you make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do good. Seek justice, rebuke the oppressor, defend the fatherless, plead for the widow. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. This is the word of our God. Glory to you, O Christ. Amen. Our second reading is from 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 from verses 1 to 12. Glory to you, O Christ. Amen. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is fitting, because your faith grows exceedingly and the love of every one of you all abounds toward each other, so that we ourselves boast of you among the churches of God, for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations that you endure, which is manifest evidence of the righteous judgment of God, that you may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God, for which you also suffer. Since it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble you, and to give you who are troubled rest with us, when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, in flaming fire, taking vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. This shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. When he comes in that day to be glorified in his saints and to be admired among all those who believe, because our testimony among you was believed, therefore we also pray always for you that our God will count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power, that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you and you in him, according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. All glory and honor and power are yours, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, now and forever, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Christ was revealed in flesh, proclaimed among the nations, believed in throughout the world. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Christ. Amen. Then Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Now behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector, and he was rich. And he sought to see who Jesus was, but could not because of the crowd for he was a short of stature. So he ran ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was going to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. So he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. But when they saw it, they all complained, saying, he has gone to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor, and if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold. 
And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. This is the word of our God. Praise to you, O Christ. Amen. May I speak in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we have just heard in our Gospel reading today, Lord Jesus Christ has stated, For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Amen. If you heard my testimony of Lord Jesus Christ being the living God, you probably also heard that life in England had so many challenges for me prior to coming to Christ. I probably was not any different than Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector of his generation and was rich. For I was a chartered management accountant with an excellent education behind me and worked with top tier one investment banks in London and I was considered to be well off. And when Zacchaeus was called by Lord Jesus Christ, he was on a sycamore tree, for he couldn't see the Lord due to the crowd. Sometimes in life, so many things that happen to us that clutter our vision, hence we are not able to see the glory of God passing by. This actually happened to me. I couldn't see the glory of God due to many things that crowded my life. Hence, the Lord brought me to a point that I was able to see his glory passing me by. Amen. In clarity. Amen. The word sycamore tree has been mentioned in the Bible nine times, and it is associated with abundance. And in the case of Zacchaeus, he has gained clarity. He was able to see the glory of God passing by. Next, he was called by Lord Jesus Christ, stating, Make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. And when I was called by God in August 2016, I was in haste to know the Lord Jesus Christ intimately and receive Lord Jesus Christ joyfully. Amen. Yet the Bible says the crowd complained that Lord Jesus Christ has chosen a sinner to stay in his house. I guess that happened in my case too. And people complained that Lord Jesus Christ has chosen a sinner like myself to make his home in me. Amen. I guess like Zacchaeus, I was righteous in my eyes too and lived a decent life and took care of my family and always tried to do the right thing. Amen. And Lord Jesus Christ answered me, Today salvation has come to your house because you are also a daughter of Abraham. Amen. For he came to seek and to save that which was lost. Amen. In fact, on 6th of June 2020, Lord Jesus Christ stated, I am giving you a home. Betul, you are my daughter. Amen. At that point, I had no home of my own. I was praying to God to grant me a plot of land where I can build a church and a ministry home before him. And Lord Jesus Christ indeed granted me a plot of land a year later on the 10th of June 2021. I received the keys to a plot of land big enough to build a ministry home and a chapel in an affluent area of North London where he took me 30 years prior. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen to that. I pray to God that you put your trust in him forevermore, for salvation is through Lord Jesus Christ only. Amen. Let us pray. May the Lord grant his will to all that are his before the foundation of the world. For the Lord has spoken, who can say no? For the Lord has promised the desires of our hearts, who can say otherwise? For the Lord has spoken and it was done. For the Lord has declared it and has been fulfilled. For the Lord is the light of all. For the Lord is the God of all. For the Lord is the righteous of all. For the Lord is the creator of all. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ stated, Salvation has come to this house. If so, salvation of God is in Christ Jesus. Amen. No one else. 
There is no other name given to us under heaven that we must be saved by. O ye servant of God, rise for the glory of God. The time of ignorance God overlooked. Now he commands all, everyone, everywhere to repent. Repentance of God is the light in the darkness. Repentance of God is the salvation in Christ Jesus. Amen. Who was and is and is to come. Amen. For the glory of God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our second hymn sung by my beautiful daughter Andrea is Jesus, You Alone. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. Who is the great King of glory, seated on high in the heavens, oh, Jesus, you alone.
simplistic law of faith in the verse of Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered dead and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen to that. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray to our Father and our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord, saying, In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people gathered at your table. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God. Here where we celebrate how Christ gave us his body to be our spiritual food, listen as we pray for his body, the church, spread throughout the world. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God. Here where we recognize the presence of Christ, who takes away the sin of the world, listen as we pray for that world and for his peoples for whom his blood was shed. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God. Here where we come together as Christ gathered with his friends to give us this meal of holy fellowship, listen as we pray for all whom you have given us, our friends and all whose lives are joined with ours. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God. Here where we remember the night of Christ's agony and trial, listen as we pray for all who share his sufferings. Through fear or pain or distress of many kinds, we pray in faith, we pray to you, our God. Here where we join our praises with the whole company of heaven, listen as we pray for all who have trusted Christ's promise to rise up on the last day. Those who eat his flesh and drink his blood, in faith we pray, we pray to you, our God. Lord, fill our hunger with the good food that lasts, the bread of God which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. In a moment of silence, let each of us bring our own private prayers and petitions before our Heavenly Father and our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, in penitence and faith. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ says, If when you are bringing your gift to the altar, you remember your brother or sister has a grievance against you, leave your gift where it lies before the altar, go make peace, and only then come and offer your gift. Peace of the Lord always be with you. Amen. And now we give you thanks, because when his hour had come, in his great love he gave this supper to his disciples, that we might proclaim his death and peace with him in his kingdom. 
Therefore, with angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name and evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come, you are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. The blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Amen. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. He broke the bread and gave it to them and said, Take it, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you and gave it to them and said, Thank you, my father. Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice, made once for all upon the cross, bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation. We proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favor on your people, gather us in your loving arms and bring us with all your saints to feast at your table in heaven through Christ and with Christ and in Christ in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, loving Father, now and forever, forever and ever. Amen. Creator of all, we have gathered many grains and made them into this one bread. We look for your church to be gathered from the ends of the earth into the kingdom. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Christ is the bread which has come down from heaven. Lord, give us this bread forever. Amen. Bread of life in Christ Jesus to keep you for eternal life. Amen. Cup of life in Christ Jesus to keep you for eternal life. Amen. God of truth, we have seen with our eyes and touched with our hands the bread of life. Strengthen our faith that we may grow in love for you and for each other. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ is the bread of heaven. You gave your people the food of angels and sent them bread from heaven. It was ready to eat, though they did no work. It was rich in delight, sweeting every taste. The food which you gave showed your sweetness towards your children. It satisfied the desire of those who ate and was flavored as each one wished, that the children you love might learn that they are not fed by various crops, it is your word which sustains all who trust in you. Jesus Christ is the bread of heaven. Amen. Christ, who has nourished us with himself, the living bread, make you one in praise and love and rise you up at the last day. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. In the name of Christ. Amen. 
Wisdom has set her table. She calls from the highest place in the city. Come, eat my bread and drink the wine I have mixed. Live your foolishness. Walk in the way of understanding. I will go to the altar of God, even to the God of my joy and gladness. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Our final hymn sung by my beautiful daughter Andrea is indescribable. You're indescribable in every way. You search me out, now I'm caught up in your grace. Make my name across the ocean. You pulled me closer. You came and changed. You showed me life. Every time I 